Matthew 4. Then Jesus was led up by the Spirit into the wilderness to be tempted by the devil. And after fasting 40 days and 40 nights, he was hungry. And the tempter came and said to him, If you are the Son of God, command these stones to become loaves of bread. But he answered, It is written, Man shall not live by bread alone, but by every word that comes from the mouth of God. I speak unto thee this day, and I say, when I, the living God, do offer to thee the way of humility, I say, welcome the same. That is, be thankful to walk in humility, to submit in humility, to obey in humility, because it is me you are meant to serve. And I say, if you will indeed welcome the way of humility, you will find that it is the life unto thee. And yes, you will find that you are uplifted, directed, and corrected by me. Now I say this day that I, the living God, never ever intended for my own people to walk in pride. For I say that pride will destroy a man, it will destroy his soul, it will destroy his life and his relationships because he is full of the same. But I say when a man will truly repent and enter into humility, then he's found well pleasing unto me. For I say it is me, the living God, who does desire that men and women would strive to remain continually repentant ever observing humility and obeying the same. That is, obeying the humility way that I give unto them, which will keep them in the way of my life. Now I say in the beginning, when I brought forth men, when I brought forth women, it was my intention that they would be in humility before me. That is, that they would remain in a place of subjectivity, a place of obedience, and know my mercy over them. But I say, when sin entered in, then I say, and they walked afar off from me. That is, they began to imagine they were something that they were not, and they took up pride. Now I say that pride is a deceiver, a conniver, and I say it will take a man into the route of stubbornness against me. For I say, when you see the demise of nations, it is because men give way to pride. That is, they give way to pride which fosters rebellion, and they are desirous of their own way. But I say what fools they are, for the very way that they choose will prove to be damnation of soul. Now I say this day that in this call to repentance revolution, I am offering to the sons of men the privilege to humble themselves unto me. That is, to bow down, to be thankful that it is me that they can be seeking to please, to serve, and obey. For I say when men will be truly accepting of the way that I offer, the way that I provide, what will you find? I say you will find they are guided forth in truth and light by me. But I say when men will walk into pride and stubbornness and rebellion will accompany them and I say they will be hateful towards me. That is, they may speak great swelling words and pretension, but I say that their hearts will be far from my way. For I say that pride is a mocker, a deceiver, and I say that it will take a man into the drunkenness of the saint. Therefore, I say, shun pride in all of its working, and seek for humility in me. Now I say, this day, if my own people were truly to seek for humility, they would find that their lives would be altered to a great degree. That is, they would find they gain exquisite understanding of what it is that I do, what it is that I declare, and what it is that I desire of them. And I say that if they really would seek to be in humility as I provide the same, then I say that their eyes of understanding would be open to behold truly my way. But I say because men are under the blockage of pride, then I say they stubbornly resist me. And I say they go on in their own understanding and they make no progress in me. Now I say this day that I live living God never called my people to be dull, to be stagnated, to be full of worldliness and ungodliness, but I've called my people to be full of me. That is, to be brought forth, uplifted, directed, and ever guided in my way. 
For I say it is a privilege to be believing, to be receiving, to be brought forth by me. And I say it is a privilege to know that I am the I am, the one who gives mercy unto any and all who will walk uprightly in me. Now I say this day when I deliver in God to give the call to all, it is that men would repent, that they would bow down, that they would be subject unto me. That is, that they would enter into repentance, revolution, and be found in my way. That is the way of cooperation, the way of obedience, the way of humility that I ordain. Now I say, when you will indeed seek to walk in humility, obedience will not be difficult unto thee. But I say, when you remain in pride, then I say, obedience is disgusting, and you cannot hardly tolerate the same. And I say, it is because with pride you find rebellion, you find stubbornness, and you find hatefulness towards me. And I say, even though a man may put on a pretender's mask that he is submitted, I say that I know his inward workings and I know his heart. I say this day that I, the living God, do not call thee to live, to die, to perish as proud fools, but I say that I call thee to repentance in me. That is, when you feel the pride, the stubbornness, the resistance, the rebellion rise up, I say, put down the same. That is, take dominion, authority over those forces of darkness and evil and iniquity that would lurk within thee. And I say, seek to be pleasing, to walk uprightly in me, for I am thy God. And I say, be thankful each day that it is me that you can continue to look to, to believe, to trust, and follow after. Now I say, this day that I, the living God, do offer unto thee the way that is eternal life, the way that is strength and mercy, and the way that is the hope provided for all who are mine. And I say, if you will be coming forth in the way that I give thee, then you are uplifted by me. And yes, you are given the truth, the light, the blessedness, and the strength each and every day, for it is me, the living God, who gives thee the same. For I say, it is me, the living God, who will indeed be present to reward the truly repentant, the ones who walk in humility with me. Now I say this day that I, the living God, am at this time calling for all men to be subject to me. That is, to be subject to my truth, my life, my mercy, and be ever thankful for the same. For I say it is indeed a good thing to come forth in that which I give, which is the truth always. And I say it is indeed a good thing to come forth uplifted, directed, and corrected by me. Now I say, therefore, this day when you look upon what it is, that I the living God do intend, I say it is the way of my mercy. And I say, when you look upon the light that I provide, how can you help but be thankful unto me? That is, thankful to be directed, corrected, and brought forth in my way. And I say, thankful to be knowing that it is me, the living God, who is showing unto thee the way of eternal life. I say, this day that I the living God do intend that men would return to the state of humility, of repentance, revolution, of subjectivity unto me. For I say, when men are truly repentant, then I say that obedience and subjectivity will indeed be the course they will take. But I say, when men will allow pride to foster in them to grow and increase, I say their relationship unto me will deteriorate. And I say, they will take up the mask of pretenders and live in the same. Now I say that I don't have a God, do not call thee to be a pretender. I do not call thee to be a faker. And I do not call thee to live in delusion day by day. But I say that I call thee to truly confess your sin, to repent of the sin and change your way. For I say when a man will be seeking to please me, to change his way through repentance, revolution, the humility way that I provide, then I say that I'm ever present to guide him forth. But I say, when men and women swell up and wall up against me through pride, they will find their own way. Now I say, there are plenty in this wicked generation of pretenders who have sought for their own way. That is, they have thought they could put on the hypocrite show, the broad parade, the mask, and somehow they get by. That is, they thought if they appear to be oh so caring for me in the presence of men, then that makes them right with me. But I say they are stupid fools who want their own way, taken in the folly of pride and deceived in the same. For I say that I, the living God, never called my people to be impressing men, to be impressing the world, and thinks of how that makes them right with me. But I say that I've called my people to walk humbly before me, to be made glad that it is me that they serve. 
And I say that I've called my people to be ever strengthened in the truth, the light, the mercy that I offer each and every day. That is because they are accepting the humility way and loving the same. Now I say in the humility way that I provide, there is no danger of falling for a man will remain in right standing with me. That is, he will remain in the subjectivity of obedience unto me and be brought forth in the truth, the light that I provide. And he will be uplifted and strengthened, directed and guided and given the truth each and every day. For I say, when a man will strive to please me, I say that he will not be full of his own way. But I say that he will be desirous of the truth and the light, the mercy and the hope and the peace of who I am. Now I say, therefore, this day be glad that I, the living God, will give to thee the truth and the light, the strength and the purpose each and every day. And I say, be thankful that I will give unto thee all that you ever have need of to be brought forth in me. For I say, when it is me that you will be believing, it is of me that you are receiving time and again. For I say that I, the living God, will not cease to give thee the truth, the light, and the mercy each and every day. Now I say this day that I, the living God, have called thee to victory. I say that I've called thee to triumph. And I say that I've called thee to the peace that I provide. Therefore I say, be thankful this day that it is me that you can continue to look to, to believe, to trust, and obey. And I say, be thankful this day that I will bring thee forth, that I will give unto thee the instruction that will cause thee to live. For I say, if you come forth, ever adjusting yourself to me, to my purpose, my plan, then you are brought forth by me. Now I say, this day that I, the living God, do call thee to walk uprightly. I say that I call thee to walk circumspectly and be thankful each day for the privilege to believe upon me. For I say, when you truly consider what a privilege it is to be redeemed, how can you murmur against me? That is, how can you through pride think you know more than you know and what it is that I should do? For I say, when men are full of pride, they have contempt for my way, and I say, they are fools in the same. For I say, if you really consider that I am the potter and you are the clay, how can you dictate unto me? And I say, if you really consider that I am the creator of all men and all souls are mine, how could men fret against me? I say, it is because of pride that they rise up in false authority and begin to dictate unto me. And I say it is by pride that they are an abomination and are separated from me. Now I say this day that I, the living God, do call thee to be thankful for the privilege to repent, for the privilege to come forth in revolution against the old way. That is, the old way of carnality, the old way of fleshly lust and greed and inordinate affection and every evil that lurks within man. For I say, when you enter into repentance, revolution, then you can stalwartly refuse those things. That is, instead of bowing to the base and lower nature, you can learn to bow unto me. And I say that you can indeed be thankful when you are in the humility way, not exalted before men or applauded by men, but ever kept by me. For I say that men are fickle, I say they are fake and pretentious, and I say one day they will love thee, next day they will hate thee, I say do not give way to their opinions, for they are not. But I say instead be giving way to me, the one true God who is able. And I say be thankful each day for the privilege I give to live in humility, to live in repentance, to live in oneness with me. For I say it is me, the living God, who is truth and light, mercy, hope, and the peace provided for those who are mine. And it is me, the living God, who will indeed direct, correct, and bring forth the people who keep their focus, their vision, single, that is upon me. And I say, be thankful that I, the living God, have given me the privilege to be co-laborers in the war for souls to bring men out of the bondage of their own way and into the glorious way that I provide through repentance, revolution, and to the There's another massive water 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 but you can't really take film of it because it's just absolutely wet when it's stuffed all the way up here. God is not mocked. For whatever one sows, that will he also reap. For the one who sows to his own flesh will from the flesh reap corruption. Commanded by God.
You're commanded by God to repent. You're commanded by God.